Konnichiwa, everyone. It's me, Johnny Blocks. <laughs> Anyways, hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another Curse of Dread Bear video. Steel Wool, okay. <laughs> Let's have a little talk, okay? Because this is a very strange situation that we found ourselves in. So, we all know of the Curse of Dread Bear DLC that is currently coming to Help Wanted very, very soon. We actually do have a release date for that in this trailer, but. We're gonna get the we're gonna get to that a little bit later on. Also, if you're not aware, there's a video link down below where you can you can see my analysis of the trailer. It's a pretty cool trailer, and we have another one to look at today. But again, we'll get to that later. So apparently, over in Australia, the DLC or at least screenshots and information about it was leaked. So that's always fun. It seems like that's just happening every day with FNAF now, which is just. <laughs> Like I said, super fun. And then shortly after that, Steel Wool actually released an official trailer for Help Wanted DLC Curse of Dreadmare, which is what we're going to look at now. Um, well, first we'll look at some of the information, like the description, we'll look at the screenshots. Uh, thanks, Darko, by the way, for letting me use your video for the <laughs> for the details and screenshots. Uh, I'll link his video down below as well. And then after that, we can watch the trailer and, uh, you know, go frame by frame, or not frame by frame, but you know what I mean do a deep analysis of it and see what we can make of all this. And of course, there's a release date at the end. There's also a little bit of a price. So let's look at some screenshots, let's look at some descriptions. Uh, yeah, let's go. This is the official description for the game. I had to remove the face cam because it takes up the entire screen. So here it is. The Curse of Dreadbear DLC unlocks a new Halloween themed hub packed with spooky new mini games and prizes. Weekly content will be added through the month of October, 2019. Weekly content. That is unbelievable, and we got more information on that uh, very, very shortly. New spine-tingling minigames include Trick or Treat, Mango Repair, Corn Maze, The pu the Plush Kin Patch, Cap'n Foxy's Pirate Adventure, Dark Ride, and many more. Featured frightening animatronics include Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica, Nightmare Freddy, Jacko Chica and Jacko Bonnie, Dreadbear, and a few more surprises. This content requires the base game, yeah, 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 no one really cares about that. So not only do we get loads and loads of more content like minigames, we also get a lot of new characters. We've got Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica, Nightmare Freddy, Jacko Chica, Jacko Bonnie, and Dreadbear, as well as more, as it says, you know, a few surprises. I am just blown away, but blown away. Blown away, jeez, I can't talk. I'm so excited, I'm just, there's so much content and it has truly been worth the wait. We got one, two, three, four, five, six plus more mini games, and then one, two, three, four, five, six plus more characters. It's just, it's absolutely incredible. And it, the DLC doesn't cost that much either. It really doesn't, we'll get to that much later, but um, yeah, this is the description. We're gonna take a look at uh, some of the screenshots now. So this first one, again, through Darko's video, link down below, is the Plushkin patch. As we can see, it's gonna be, unfortunately, just like the Plush Baby minigame in the original game, which, if you guys saw my original playthrough, link down below, was my least favorite thing. They could just go anywhere, and it was just, uh, you had the battery flashlight as well. I just, I didn't like that minigame. And it looks like it will, unfortunately be returning, but this time in the form of, um, whatever this hellish creature balloon boy hybrid of plush baby is. I don't know, it's really, really creepy. We're also in a pumpkin pass where we got a, um, very eerie sky as well as a windmill out, out back, and, you know, there's some hay. It's a generic pumpkin patch, um, setting, but, you know, plush can patch with the plush guys. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why they're balloon boy, but... It is definitely more terrifying. Man, just look at those, look at those teeth. Oh, I don't like how his eyes are like that as well. Anyways, next, next screenshot. There's only two, I think. Oh no, actually there's three. This is of the mansion. We get more information about this in the trailer, but this is a mansion setting. And here we can see Withered Foxy, Withered Freddy, and Balloon Boy. Later on, we also see other characters like um, Withered Bonnie and Withered Chica, but again, we'll get to them much later. So it's not entirely clear how we're going to move around the setting. Um, Based on the trailer, which probably should have started with, but whatever, it seems like um, it's going to be like the Fun Time Foxy minigame where you move around with little joysticks and you got to dodge these characters, which is going to be absolutely terrifying because not only is it a really creepy mansion setting, there's just loads of characters in there. Uh, when we look at the trailer, you'll see what I mean. It's just 
It's really, it's gonna be really creepy. And then finally we have the Incinerator Room, which again from the trailer we know as the Mangle um, Repair Minigame. Here we're going to be sorting out different parts, um, and the ones that we don't manage to get will go in the Incinerator, and I don't know, maybe if we miss a certain piece we'll get jump scared, but um, this is going to be absolutely crazy. It's an entirely new environment, actually all of these are entirely new environments, and it just, it's a cool twist on the um, original repair mini games, where instead of being in the vents, we're in a, um, a factory incinerator room. I don't know, it's it's a weird setting. Um, like, is this actually canon? Is any of this canon? I don't even know. Hope one has just confused the entire lore for me, so I think I'll let other people explain that. Yeah, but this, again, more context in the trailer, which I think we're just about ready for. Yeah, we are. Let's do it. So this is obviously going to be linked down below, and this is absolutely insane. This is a whole new setting. We haven't seen this one um, in particular just yet, but again, we're going to be doing, we're going to be watching it through once, and then we'll go back through and analyze it. So here we go. I have seen this before, so it's not quite a reaction, but oh my god, it's still awesome. Look at that. That's going to be freaking terrifying. Ugh. God, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to this. Look, little Freddle got shocked. That's cute. Oh my god. So I think this is the mansion. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Look at Foxy in the background. Oh no. This is bad. This is really bad. Wait for it. Wait. <laughs> I'm just watching it on the 2D screen is terrifying enough. And then we got Dreadbear himself, look at him. My god. And then this is the part where we get the release date. Are you guys ready? I don't think you are because it's, it's probably sooner than you think. Okay? Look at that. 10-23. 2019. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware, but today's the 22nd, so this comes out freaking tomorrow. Another thing that's worth mentioning is plus additional levels on the 29th, which is exactly one week from today, which is, oh my god, there's gonna be so much content. We don't even know what the additional levels are, and it's a week away. It's, just, it's so hype, man. The hype is real. Okay, now we can go back through and analyze it. Um, this seems like a FNAF 1 layout. This just seems like it's, uh, like I said, the FNAF 1 layout, but this time with the actual uh, Halloween DLC characters, you know. Something, I don't know what this is. Pull to reboot. Maybe it's a mix of FNAF 1 and FNAF 3 where the camera system can go offline and we gotta reboot it with that little switch. I don't know. It is interesting. Um, yeah, uh, you can actually see the FNAF 1 layout, so it definitely is the FNAF 1 um, place. We got the little hallway, and it looks like the windows and doors are actually like boarded up, which is terrifying. Uh, we got the uh, the power, so maybe it's just the windows that are boarded up. Uh, we do see Chica break them down later on. And, you know, the entire place is... <laughs> the entire place is Halloween themed. You know, you switch over to another camera, and you get to see Jacko Chica walking towards your room. We got the little pumpkin there. Oh, he's creepy. And then we lose power. And then look at this. This is going to be terrifying. Just watching her break down the window. And then she comes in and obviously she um, motors us. So this is the Mango Repair Minigame. And as you guys can't see from my uh, face cam blocking the view, I'm very sorry. But yeah, we got the parts, and it looks like Freddles even coming down the conveyor belt. And up here, there's a screen right now it's showing uh, the face of the Biddy Bab. So it looks like they are playing a bigger role um, in this DLC than what they did in the original game, where at first they were just an Easter egg. Now they're actually part of a mini game. And the parts come down a little shoot, a little shoot, a conveyor belt, and we have to sort them into um, little groups. There's a bar right here that says 47, 48. Hello. The screen is now switched to Balloon Boy, so, um, actually, I think what happened is, you guys can't see it, I think we put in the wrong piece, because when we put that in, it looks like the Bitty Bab, yeah, the Bitty Bab's face gets X'd out, okay. So we need to find the correct thing. So that's not it. For some reason, they got shocked, I don't know why. Huh, that was interesting. It looks like there's more than one screen as well. 
Yeah, there's one up there, and it's got Balloon Boy's hat. Maybe we're assembling the characters. Oh my god. And then this looks like it may be the start of the mansion. There was a face there. Oh, it might have been just the foot. I don't know. So it looks like this is the start of the mansion. So in an elevator, we go down, and then we get this awesome shot. So, oh god, wait, let me go back. So we got Balloon Boy, Chica, and Bonnie right there, waiting, waiting for us to enter. And we can actually see that they're going to be walking around. And it looks like we're behind some bars, or maybe we're outside of the, outside of the mansion looking in through a window. So what if, what if, right, they're walking around just like Freddy is right now, and we have to hide from them. What if we have to hide from these dudes? There's a guy back there. Wait, who is that? Who is that? I don't know who that is. That's weird. And then we're walking down a hallway. Oh my god. And then they, they just appear out of nowhere. You can see them. Something that's interesting is that we actually see Nightmare Foxy, which... He, he was not included in the original lineup, so uh, we actually see him sprinting at us. And they actually get a jump scare. That's awesome. Oh my god, look at that. Ghost of Dreadbear, we've seen this already. It's still amazing nonetheless. And then the release date, tomorrow. Oh my god, I can't believe it's tomorrow. Um, I do want to talk about something before we wrap things up with final thoughts. I do want to mention something quite serious, actually. Um, Steel Wool, Lionsgate, if you guys are watching this, Scott, possibly. If somehow you're watching this, I got something very important to tell you. Maybe my dogs have something to say as well. Steel Wool, Lionsgate, and Scott. This is specifically for you guys. You know we love you, okay? And you guys know that we absolutely cannot wait for this DLC. And we can't wait for basically anything that you guys announce. But you can't just drop it out of the blue. Literally, I saw Daco's video and he said that it would be out within the next few hours. And I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like, well, obviously that's not true, it's not coming out till tomorrow, but I don't like that you guys just release things without telling us anything first. When the initial version of the game released, you know, like version 1, that was awesome, because we had a release date, we know when it was coming, you know, even other people got early access, so we know that it was right around the corner. Uh, like I said, we already had a release date, um, and it, it's okay to release, um, like, I know you guys did language supports and bug fixes. That's fine to at least just, you know, one Monday afternoon. Like, that's totally fine. But when it's a big update like this and the Withered update, just don't don't drop it out of the blue. Because I even addressed in the Withered update when I played it that I wasn't, pre I wasn't prepared at all. I was literally out having dinner, or not dinner, lunch with my family that I hadn't seen in a while. And you guys just dropped it out of nowhere. Like, don't do that. Same thing with this. You gave us a little bit of heads up for 24 hours. A 24 hours heads up. Better, but come on. Give us like a week, maybe. That was my little rant. Of course, I am very excited. And of course, I will play it through completion uh, when it comes out tomorrow and when the more um, when the more mini games come out next week. So thanks everyone so much for watching. Get hyped. Uh, I didn't mention it, but it is estimated to be around $10 or $15, the DLC. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.